So, hello guys. Welcome to yet another episode of whatever this might be. It's me, Adam Spasm, just being that, basically. Here on the old YouTube booby boxy thing. Anyway, Adam Spasm here on the YouTube. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Right, today we are going to do a little bit of a reaction video. Bear with me, guys, because this is the first time I've ever tried a reaction video. I mean, I've been on video reacting before because that's what us actors do. And that brings me on to my next point. As you may or may not know, as I've just kind of given you a spoiler about a few seconds ago, when I'm not doing this youtube -y stupid thing, I am also a bit of an actor, a thespian, and what have you. So yes, today we are going to be reacting to a set of bloopers from one of the films I did. It's a film called Two Man Rule and the director has cleverly named this first edition of bloopers Two Man Goofs. Oh he's such a clever master. I co-wrote this with a student called Rio Swatton. Hello Rio, hope you're watching. If not then why not? Not a vegan mate are you? Anyway, Yes, that was written with myself by none other than Rio, Rio Swatton. He is a film student and he wanted me to be in his film. So I said, all right, mate, I'll do it for you. And we did. Anyway, that's enough of me being an idiot. Nah, there's more to come of that. Let's watch Two Man Goofs. Get your popcorn and whatever else you like eating ready. It'll be a good one. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this, pal. You just got I just got straight in the lens. <laughs> <laughs> Smart guy, are we? You'll be meeting your maker. You carry on like that. You'll be meeting your maker. You carry on like that. Capoose! <laughs> Capoose! And cut. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, roll him. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> I need no pasta. <laughs> got me nose with a clapper board. You'll be meeting your maker. You carry on like that. Caprice. Got to stop that there. That, that's supposed to be me trying to get out of the door. Yet, yeah, because you couldn't really see what my hands are doing and the rest of my body was shaking and I was doing a bit of a... Ugh. It looked like I was doing something else. I'll leave that to your imagination. Anyway, let's go back to this. You won't see my key anywhere, have you? You're telling me you don't have a key and you've locked us in here? What do you think I am, a scientist or something? The locksmith? I don't know, do I? <laughs> you ain't seen my keys, have you? You're telling me you don't have a key? And you've locked us in here? <laughs> you moron. What do you think I am? A locksmith or something? <laughs> I must point out that we were shooting this in a very, very confined space. As you can see up the top of the video there, you can see the ceiling, which is literally about that far from my head. And I'm quite claustrophobic. So that was quite, quite a challenge. But the things us actors have to do to get a laugh or a cry from the audience. But yeah, so there's a crew in there. And there's at the, in that particular scene, it's just me and one other guy. Another actor, Dan, Dan Rutter. And um, yeah, we were in there and there's so much going on. One person laughs. We all laugh. One person. We all run out of there as quick as we can. But yes, it was a very confined space. Help! Help! Uh. 
<laughs> and action. Right, let's go again. Just turn it off. Well, what if I knew owl? Who do you think I am? I sound like a white farmer, then I did a great dragon. Just turn it off. Well, what if I knew owl? Who do you think I am? A scientist or something? I'm a farmer going into fucking Norfolk. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. Not long before I filmed this, I'd done another film where I was playing a full-on Norfolk fisherman in like a B-movie style horror film, which will be out later this year, 2023. But uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I think I must have had a bit of trouble shaking that character off because this character, Lenny, is actually a Londoner. Trying to be, you know, trying to be a bit of an odd man, even though he's the Inspector Clouseau of the underworld. But um, he's a blumbering idiot. I didn't know how to act very hard. So yes, before this, doing the old Londoner hard man sort of stuff, <laughs> I was being a fisherman. You're right, boy. You're right, lad. And all that. And I just could not shake it. I kept going into it. I don't know why. Maybe I go so deep into the old acting thing and me, the old character development, that I forget to shake them off. That's the trouble. I've got all these characters in me head now. And they just won't leave me bonts. <laughs> anyway, speaking of the characters, let's watch some more of this. <laughs> Your choice. What <laughs> are you doing, Matt? <laughs> 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 Action. Go in. Go on. Cut. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Action. <laughs> With a bat this big, you think I'd be able to position it onto a chair, wouldn't you? But no, I kept missing. <laughs> You're pathetic. I know. I'm used to people telling me. <laughs> Action. I'm used to that a lot. I think they might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. That's, like, <laughs> That's what's known in the business as milking it. Yeah, we did that scene before that, another take. And I was just getting into what I was doing and then the director called Cut. And I was like, well, give me a little bit longer to react. So in that one, he just kept going for about a week and a half. And I was like, oh, 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 Cut. Oh, thank me for that. Yes. On we go again. <laughs> and action. And <laughs> on silent. And action. Sorry. <laughs> Besides, I'm the one that got us locked in here and can't remember his lines. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah, go ahead. Why do you keep rubbing your stomach? Oh, oh, no. oh let me finish my life, I should finish my life. I'm sorry. That would be a good one for you. Yeah, right, where are we going from? Just, uh... Can I ask you a personal question? <laughs> I'm sure I just see you, I just see you many, man. 
<laughs> Mes pères, oh, les <laughs> There's nothing worse than trying to get in to the moment of the scene and the crew or other members of the cast who aren't on screen start giggling and making noises with whatever part of their body. It's very distracting, you know. Oh, I'm the pathetic one here. No, I am. <laughs> you even said so yourself. Besides, I'm the one that got us locked up and fed up the scene. <laughs> Look, fine. I'll help you, but when this is over, I'm gonna safe distance from your ass. Oh, fair dues. Oh. It's Lenny, by the way. No, it's no, the not. <laughs> That's my name! <laughs> That's my name! I've got a child! That's a fing good name, man! Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome, it's already kicked in! <laughs> right, I'll help you, but when this is over, I'm getting a safe distance from your arse. Sorry, Dan, I burped. I didn't mean to. I put too much pressure on my butt in there. <laughs> So, yes, as you can probably tell from that, I did indeedy have a lot of fun on set. We all did. <laughs> what else can I say? Right, as I fiddle around with these controls, as the bishop said to the actress. Ooh. Anyway, so yes, that was me making a lot of mistakes, I might add, in the first version of, or say the first bundle of Two Man Goofs. So yes, next time we will do the same, but with number two of Two Man Goofs. And then as a special treat after that, we will watch the actual film together. I will put the link down below anyway, so that you can go and watch it if you would like. So you can come into the next video with me with fresh eyeballs and actually know what the film's about. I'm in it and I don't know what it's about. I co-wrote it and I ain't got a bleeding clue. But besides all that, it's a great film, honest. And I shall do it with a few others of the films as we go along. As you may or may not be aware, my son in real life and all the other lives I live is in fact none other than YouTuber Gab708. So I will grab him and get him onto one of these either live streams or videos that we do where we're reacting to things because he's been in a couple of things with me and oh, and he's a great YouTuber. I'll also put the link to his channel down below. While we're talking about links, if you wouldn't mind subscribing and what have you, if you liked what you saw and heard and all that malarkey here on the old YouTuber and me, Adam Spasm, Go down below and do what you like. Press whatever buttons you like, as long as it's a subscribe and follow and all like or whatever it is these days. I do not know what the kids are doing these days. But anyway, on that note, I've been Adam Spasm and I will be next time. See you later. I hope.